you can't sit through two three hour long ICT videos, this video is perfect for you. So that will be breaking down in about 10 minutes, the perfect ICT strategy that I personally use to got over 600k in F2MO max allocation funding in just about two months. Now, jumping straight to it, as you can see in the top right corner, I'm going to have a checklist for you guys so it's perfect, it's written out for you guys to follow step by step. Now, first things first. Whatever timing I'm referring to, it will be to New York timing, okay? Now, to actually change the trading view to New York timing, which ICT also recommends, bottom right corner where it says UTC minus four and find New York, and that will be, um, your, your trading view will change to New York timing. Now, first things first, you wanna mark out your opening uh, midnight pricing, right? So what you wanna do is grab your uh, vertical line, you're gonna mark out the midnight pricing. So for example, uh, say this is midnight pricing, right? I know it's not, but I'm just doing it for example sake. Then you're gonna mark out your 8.30 New York timing, right? So for example, say this is New York timing, okay? And you're gonna trade to about 12 p.m. Now, you're gonna let the market literally do its own thing within these time periods that you've actually marked out. So wherever it trades, up, down, just let us do its thing. This is where patience plays. You're not gonna be looking for any sort of uh, entries within this point, okay? that we might get a slight pump, for example. Um, done, right, now, within this time period, right, these sessions, so midnight open price to 8.30 New York time, and you're gonna get let price do exactly what it needs to do, right? You're not gonna have any sort of interference, you're not gonna be executing within these timing. Your execution timing is gonna be after eight, your 8.30 vertical um, line, up until about 12 p.m. So that is gonna be your execution timing. Now, first things first, right? You're gonna look at where midnight uh, midnight opening price is. So for example, let's say I mark out midnight opening price, okay? Say this is the midnight opening price. Let's change the color to red as well. And we're gonna put a text on this to midnight opening price. So what you need to understand is if price is above midnight opening price, you're only gonna be looking for sales. Now if midnight opening price, if price is under midnight opening price, you're gonna be looking for buys only. Now next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is mark out the liquidity within your session ranges that you've actually marked out. So again, we're gonna mark out the low. So let's change this to liquidity. You're gonna mark out the lows and the highs. That's exactly what liquidity is. We've got a liquidity video on our channel if you want to check that out, done. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do after this 8.30 time, you're actually gonna wait. You're gonna wait for either one of these liquidity areas to get run out, okay? So bearing in mind, if you're above midnight open price and your buy side liquidity gets run out, you're looking for sales and sales only. So this is gonna be sort of example. So say um, your buy side liquidity gets taken out and it's above midnight open price, which means you're looking for sales only. You're gonna wait for that. And then you're gonna drop into the one minute time frame where you're gonna be looking for a market structure shift. Now, when you actually get this market structure shift, what is a market structure shift? Market structure shift is when you get a shift in market structure showing that a new trend is about to form. So when you've actually got this market structure shift, uh, the displacement through uh, back under the uh, buy side liquidity, you're gonna now start looking for entries where you might catch maybe an order block within here, um, your OTE, uh, Fibonacci retracement. In this video, I'm gonna be using order blocks and I'll actually show you on a live uh, example where you're gonna be trading um, and taking entry uh, within this area here on the retracement of the market structure shift and displacement. Now, actually to take it back in, now to take it into um, a live scenario, let's uh, take and delete all of these. Um, Let's delete all of this and take it into the live session. So I've, I've actually marked out um, an example for you guys. Okay, perfect. So okay, first things first, right? We've actually marked out our midnight opening price to 8.30. Now, before I actually jump into this live, uh, example, I want you guys to know that we're gonna have our free telegram in the link below where we're gonna be dropping breakdowns, um, dropping new videos, new content is gonna be completely free. 
um, where you guys can actually join and uh, get some free education. So the link is going to be below, uh, but let's jump straight back into the video. Now, first things first, right? Uh, let's bring this down here. Let me change the... Okay, perfect. So you've now marked out your session's timing, right? So you're going to let price do its thing. Remember what I said, let price do its thing on the 15 minute time frame, right? You're going to be on the 15 minute New York timing, midnight to 8.30 a.m. Let price do its thing. So within these sessions, you're actually going to let price do whatever it wants. You're not going to be touching anything. Okay, so once this, once it comes to 8.30, right? You're gonna now want to mark out the session highs, uh, the sorry, the liquidity levels, right? So again, within the timing, so we're not gonna mark out this because it's not within the eight, uh, the midnight and the eight thirty. So when midnight, this is actually where the algorithm refreshes. This is exactly what ICT says, his own words. So that's why we're using our the midnight price. So we've got this low uh, as our sell side liquidity. We'll change this to liquidity, and then we're gonna have the buy side liquidity, which is the highest point within that timing. So it's basically gonna be the highest and the lowest point um, within that session. So liquidity is now marked out, okay? Midnight opening price, are we above or below the midnight opening price? We are clearly above, right? So this means we're gonna be looking for sales and sales only. So let's wait for our buy side liquidity to get taken. So again, this is where patience plays. Okay, done. Midnight prices, I mean, buy side liquidity has now been taken. What we're going to want to do is drop straight into the one minute time frame. Dropping into the one minute time frame, you're going to mark out um, the lows and the highs to get that market shift. So as we've got here, we've got a low created here. So let's take it back one candle so I can show you guys the live example. Okay, so we've marked out a low. Now, how do we know if it's a valid low when the previous candle and the candle after is above the lowest candle? Just like this would be the next low, but this is our current low, okay? So we're gonna want this low to be taken out. Again, low has now been taken out. Now, I do not want to see the low taken out with a wiki candle. That is not displacement. We need displacement paired when taking out the low. So what a displacement candle looks like is a big energetic, energetic candle like so. Not a candle that will look like this. This is not displacement. This is not would not be classed as displacement, okay? so. Let's take everything back and wait for that displacement candle below that low. There it is. See how energetic this candle is compared to that one? That is what you would call a displacement. Now, what would you mark out? Now, what would you mark out? Um, what I personally like to use, my most my personal favorite is order blocks. We're going to mark out the last um, order block. So as you can see here, uh, the, last, the last low swing point. So we've got a high. Here, how do we know it's a high? The candle previous um, is lower, the candle after is lower. So this is the new high. Within that, within this swing point, we've got an order block, which is perfect. So what we're gonna wanna do now is set a limit order. You can either do this whilst manually watching the charts or just simply set a limit order if you like. If you are setting a limit order, just to remember these ICT strategies are very, 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 very precise. So uh, to factor in spreads and stuff, do set the limit order slightly below the um, order block zone um, just so you can actually get tapped in but if you're actually watching manually you can possibly enter manually um, when it actually comes into our order block zone now your stop loss has to be above the order block uh, possibly above the high which would make more sense just so uh, you've got a bit of breathing room on the trade so um, stop loss will go slightly above here um, like so now again i am trading gold this works on forex pairs exactly the same now what what are we going to be attacking right we're going to be attacking the next uh opposing liquidity so again what do we have here we have these equal lows now these equal lows are opposing liquidity uh, which i'll actually be targeting so this will give us a one to three restore ratio um stop loss slightly above um, i'm happy for it to be a one to three exactly so i'll trade like that so let's see if we get tapped in boom tapped in precision almost no drawdown right so we've actually been tapped in so let's move our order here and then we let uh, the rest of the trade play out as you can see um 
Take profit gets absolutely smashed. So this is a great strategy, as you guys can see. Very, very, very precise, very easy to use. Um, make sure rewatch the video as many times as you like. Uh, follow all the steps. Um, and remember, do join our free Telegram in the bio below where we will actually be giving, um, dropping some trade breakdowns, uh, dropping a few signals here and there, um, all for free. So completely free. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, and thank you.